We're going to be tracking some dry days ahead of us here, thankfully. We're going to be seeing a pretty dry start to the week. Unfortunately, we're going to be a little bit cooler today, only getting into those mid to upper 50s. But for Monday, not going to be looking at a lot of cloud cover, and we are going to be warming up quite a bit into the upper 60s again. Now, Tuesday, heading into Tuesday evening, that looks like where we're going to see our next chance for some rain to enter the area. Only pushes those temperatures back down into the lower 60s. We are still going to be seeing a lot of sunshine for the week ahead. Thankfully, once that system moves in, it will actually be really into the heading into Tuesday evening and looks to push out of here by Wednesday morning pretty quickly. And by the end of the week, still seeing some of that sunshine hanging around. We are going to be dealing with some of these higher winds, though, unfortunately, before that system gets here by today into the afternoon. Could see some of these wind gusts coming out of the north. It's going to be keeping us a little bit cooler today, seeing those up to about 20 to even 30 miles per hour across the area. I'm unfortunately expecting these actually increase heading into Monday afternoon. Actually seeing in our northern counties, especially some of those higher wind speeds up to those mid 30s, even closer to about 40 miles per hour. And that actually continues to increase into Monday evening, even becoming more widespread with those higher wind speeds. Now we are going to see a, another system passing through on Tuesday. Once that finally moves through, we'll knock those wind speeds down quite a bit throughout the day on Tuesday. Still definitely going to be dealing with those, unfortunately, throughout the day then. Now, once that system does move in, not looking to bring any rain until later on into the evening on Tuesday. We will see that system passing out of here pretty quickly by Wednesday morning. We'll see temperatures getting a little bit cooler back in the mid-50s once that leaves us. But next weekend looks to be dry, and that puts temperatures back in the mid-60s again.